Hey, this is the Thugger. When you're out for a stroll in the woods, does all of nature come to a complete standstill, watching you, your every step, fearing for their lives? Well, it turns out that skeptics have cracked the code on this one. All you need is a pair of magic brown pants. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so here is the old man in question wearing his blue jacket and brown pants. And just below him is a fox with no head or feet. <laughs> Why would that be? And the answer is clearly that all of this back here in the back is in direct sunlight. And to make matters worse, it's out of focus, which means we are losing a ton of color and shape information back here. So there's no way in the world that you can look at this and say, that's a dark jacket and those are brown pants. There's just too much information gone. And if I, uh, if I come over here a little bit further right there, there, you can see that is a fox. Some were trying to say that it was just this guy's cat or whatever. So now that the magic pair of brown pants and the cat theory has been destroyed. A larger question remains, the most important question remains, why has this menagerie of animals gathered to intently watch whoever this is, whatever this is, down here at the end of the road? What is going on here? Because I, I've, uh, I've walked outdoors in the woods a time or two and Apart from, say, a Disney cartoon, you, you never see a menagerie of animals like this gather and pay full attention to someone like this. So whoever or whatever this big guy back here or gal is, all these other animals appear to be scared to death of it. And I don't think the answer is that all animals are scared to death of blue hoodies and brown khakis. So what do I want to do? I'm going to make a part two video of this for my YouTube members and my patrons. And I'm going to stabilize the motion so that we can watch how this guy moves. Um, take a look at some body ratios and just see what we can see. And I'll, I'll also try to rescue the color and work with the exposure a little. But that seems pretty, pretty much hopeless. It all seems to be lost at this point. But... The main thing I want to discuss in part two is there's an aspect to this video that nobody has discussed yet. It's kind of the elephant in the room. And uh, it, it, it's, it's really telling and really worth noting. So until then, everybody, uh, again, thank you so much for watching and please be safe. All right. Take care.